Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze. Welcome back to a new Wizard101 Test Realm video. So, there's one more thing that I wanted to look at before Test Realm closes for this first week, even though it's only been up for like a day and probably a half because they usually close it Friday afternoon. So, it's almost Friday afternoon right now. So, they're probably going to close it soon. But, I wanted to take a look at the new gear vault that is in the crown shop. Now, the weird thing about this is it looks exactly like the gravulum uh, lodestone here so I don't know <laughs> if there's a if there's a issue with the icon because I mean let's let's like put it down plus if you look at it here it doesn't even look like that so I'm guessing there's an issue with the, the icon just like there's issues with the icons in the road warriors pack but um, the other thing about the gear vault is that people were kind of complaining about what it looks like I mean, if you just look at it here, like, I don't even know what this is. It kind of looks like a trap door or something, and it's got, like, a floating... It almost, you know what? It almost looks like one of those, uh, like, the, those exalted gauntlets or exalted battles that they had with, like, Zeus and Crocopatra and that kind of thing. It looks like one of those. So, I don't know. Let's go ahead and buy one, and we'll place it down. I mean, it's still test room, so they have some things that they could fix on it. But, yeah, it's the same symbol as this even though it doesn't look like that at all. So, uh, we can put it right here. Let's turn it a little bit so it's not exactly like that. And yeah, we can place it right here. So, all right, let's get a, like a close look at this thing. So you can, you can stand on it and stuff. And basically it looks like it's supposed to be some kind of, I don't know, some kind of like trap door. It almost looks like a, a grave. <laughs> looks like a gravestone, like, a, like the top of a coffin. I don't know. And then there's a there's a box with a wizard hat on it. It's kind of floating around right there. I mean, for what it does, it seems like it needs a more extravagant item in game for it. Because I mean, where are you gonna put this? That actually, looks good. Like in your room, in in your in your storage, <laughs> in your storage in your house somewhere. But yeah, this is what it looks like for now. I do hope they change it because I mean, the seed vault looks pretty nice. So, but yeah, it's the same as the seed vault. You can open it like this, and then you go straight into it, and you can place things in your vault. It says it can hold uh, 100 things. So all you do is go in your backpack, and then you just start moving stuff. Graduation hat. I've wanted to take the graduate. Like, I've had no space in my bank to put the graduation hat, and I didn't want to delete it, so I had nowhere to put it. So now I can finally uh, just throw it into this. Road Warriors Helm. We got the Skull Rider, or Skull Cap from that because I have been opening some of the Road Warriors packs on test. I might as well just open up more right now because once test resets on Monday of next week you will get the 15,000 crowns back so you might as well just you know, do that. Um, What else would I put in? Oh graduation gown, yep. Armor, not going to use that. I mean this is just a much needed addition to Wizard 101 because the options were to either expand the bank which people wanted or add some kind of item that allows you to get more space because space for me in this game is hard to come by because I just have so much stuff like this this flute that I'm gonna use on my fire eventually like I'm not using it right now but I'm just gonna throw it in the gear vault because it'll just be able to stay in there Valor Sword alright I'm probably gonna keep the Valor Sword on me because I mean it's nice to look at, though. No. Okay, uh, what else do we got? I would probably put in of these, probably this Darkmoor one because I don't need it. But yeah, that's just kind of how it works. And then uh, same as the Seed Vault. I mean, you can't like click it like by hitting X. You actually have to go into here and then click the item and then do it. I mean, I guess that's another thing I don't like in addition to the look of it. But yeah, that is the new. I did not mean to do it. Cancel. All right, that is the new Gear Vault. We'll see what they change on it because I really hope they do change some stuff. So, just want to show that off quick in this video. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is show the Devotion Aura that we can now get in Azteca. So, we're going to head over to Azteca and grab that. It's actually faster just to pour to the Zocalo from here so you don't have to walk. And yeah, in three points there is the new Aura that we can get because... For like the longest time since Azteca was out, the only aura that life could get from the Star Trainer was the healing one. 
So now they've updated it so we can get the damage one. So Star School and Devotion is on the bottom here. Still costs a training point, but I think it costs... Wait, does it cost a training point? Why does it cost a training point? I don't know. I have training points, though. Oh, and there's not even there's not even a, a thing for it yet. Well, they probably have to fix that. I wonder... I don't think it's supposed... If it's life, it's not supposed to cost a training point, I don't think. I don't know. But yeah, we got Devotion. There it is. It's really green, but it makes sense. So, 25%. To all life attacks for four rounds, five percent power pip, and then ten percent for incoming death attacks. So yeah, I think it's uh, necessary that they added this because it just makes sense that all other schools have a twenty-five percent spell, and life never did. So I kind of want to cast it and see. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go cast it and see. Where should we go? Let's go to my favorite spot and like to just like test stuff, which is <laughs> Golem Tower. Actually, we don't have to go to Golem Tower. We could go to Unicorn Way. Because Golem Tower is kind of like my place for, like, pet stuff. Let's go to Unicorn Way, probably, and see. Because, oh, can I get my thing here? Let me just check this quick. Today's assignment is to get a reading by defeating one of these creatures in this Rotting location. fodder Good in luck. a haunted, haunted cave? Okay, I think I can manage that. You know what? Should we just go do that? It's kind of far away. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just complete our daily assignment while showing off Devotion. So, Haunted Cave's a little bit uh, away. We had to run. So, I will cut back to when we get to the Rotting Fodders. Okay, so there are Rotting Fodders here. But I'm pretty sure it said Haunted Cave. So, I don't want to defeat them in Triton Avenue and not have it count. So, we're going to run all the way to Haunted Cave because I know there are Rotting Fodders in there that we might as well defeat. Because it says, like, when we talked to him the first time, he's like, well, actually, when we talked to him today, because he says the same thing, he's like, you have to defeat these minions in this location. So, guessing it has to be in the Haunted Cave. I mean, it might count anyway, but let's just make sure. Just going to Haunted Cave to make sure. Haunted Cave is so far away. Just, like, running here. Yeah. Running fodder is right here, so might as well just do that. And we're going to cast our Devotion Aura. Ooh, there it is. Well, first we need to draw a Seraph. Alright. First cast of Devotion. Okay, not like too different of a sound. It does have like leaves you can hear. But it's not like the myth one. The myth one's awesome. So, Devotion. A lot of uh, leaves flying around. Let's go ahead and kill this Rotting Fodder and get our quest reward for today I also wonder if the daily quests like kind of scale up as they get further in the days but who knows do we get it there it is a little like fire comes out of your body okay so that is the devotion aura and completing our daily assignment for today let's just head back to our home and we can check on the gravel Hello. here. You've already completed today's assignment. Yeah, I know, Make dude. Make sure to check back tomorrow. So we will definitely, we might even be able to get to day ten because test this test room is supposed to go until aug or not August. What am I? April. It's supposed to go until April, and uh, that's like well, we still have like two weeks, so it's a good amount of time to get through a lot of those assignments if I do it every day. So then we can see kind of what. The chests have but to end off this video we are going to be opening up some road warriors packs because why not treasure cards please because i mean why not um uh, might as well spend our crowns and see how good our luck is i can delete all these because it doesn't matter it's test realm i don't even care and yeah we will finish this off all right that's probably enough okay please don't be full on something else like reagents or Something crazy? Okay. I am going to be doing a... See, the thing looks like a elixir. I'm going to be doing a opening on Live Realm of the Road Warriors pack again. Like, pack opening number two. And um, there will also be a giveaway tied into that. So expect that video, I'm guessing, this weekend sometime. Probably Sunday if I had to, you know, like, pinpoint a day when we're going to be doing that so 
look forward to that. It'll be pretty exciting. Oh, we finally got a wand. Wow, on Test Realm. Death Metal Skull. 115, crit and block. 10% to fire and death. Okay. And then I like the May cast is a Metal Clops, you know? Because it puts up a 35% death or fire trap. That's cool. Let's have a look at this thing. Because we never got a wand on Live Realm. So yeah, there it is. I mean, those just look awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. So, let's throw more stuff in our gear vault because we can. And then we'll finish up opening these. I might run into more max bag space before I even can spend all these grounds. But, really, what am I, what am I maxed on? There's that rude goblin again. Dang it, backpack, we have no space. Okay, made 50 bag space. Finish this off. Road Warriors Horde. I mean, do I expect to get a mount? No. Because if I do, then I probably will never get it on Live Realm. But, that's not going to make me stop here. Okay, we got the car. Let's keep going. Magma Spider. Got some storm fuel. How many more can we open? Like, two. Alright, nice. And is this the last one? Yeah, I think it was, yeah, that's the last one. Okay, that is going to do it. Boom, death fuel. Not bad. Okay, so that is it for Test Realm for the first week that it was out. Basically two days, not even two days. I mean, but I spent most of yesterday like on Test Realm recording stuff. So go check out all those videos that are going up this weekend. A lot of cool stuff, and I will continue next week with a little more test room stuff that uh, I didn't cover this week. Probably not going to do fishing. I think I'm going to wait until live run for that one. But leave a like if you guys have enjoyed this video. And other than that, uh, subscribe if you're new for more content. Enjoy this today, and I'll see you all next time.